cast your minds back to mid to late October last year, and there were two important announcements. The first was the launch of the Vajo Aero VR headset, featuring the highest resolution display available in a prosumer type VR headset. And shortly on the heels of that, Pimax announced their intention to bring out in late 2022 the 12K QLED VR headset. Well, Pimax have done it again and announced another VR headset, and this time coming out third quarter 2022. It's the Pimax Crystal. Let's have a look. Welcome back to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching, and let's get started. In my personal opinion, there's no doubt this is aimed squarely at the Vajo Aero market. It's a prosumer headset based on the same platform as Pimax's upcoming 12K QLED. And it's going to feature some very interesting and unique design features. But the main focus of the Pimax Crystal is fair and squarely on visual clarity above anything else, as it will feature the highest number of pixels per degree of any consumer-facing headset, as it will feature interchangeable lenses. As I understand it, it will ship with 35 pixels per degree, which is roughly the same as the Vajo Aero, with an FOV of 120 degrees horizontal or 140 diagonal. The Vajo Aero is 115 degrees, perhaps a little less. Alternatively, you can swap out the lenses and get 42 pixels per degree, with an FOV of 110 degrees horizontal or 120 diagonal. The higher the pixel count per degree means higher resolution, more detail, and most importantly, greater clarity. They also announced that their aspheric optical glass lenses will let more light in, make it less susceptible to aberration, and substantially reduce the need for distortion correction via software. And that in itself bodes well for performance. The lenses will have a built-in blue light filter, anti-reflective coating, and also have an anti-dust layer. As per the upcoming 12K, the QLED display will have many LED for backlighting, giving truer blacks. But here's another kicker. This headset will be both standalone and PC VR capable, featuring YGIG and a Qualicom XR2 processor. In standalone mode, it'll feature inside-out tracking, utilizing four cameras but it comes with changeable faceplates, at an additional cost, of course, which will give it lighthouse or base station compatibility. Pimax announced that they're working on other faceplates as well, including a mixed reality MR one, with full color pass-through options. So through the VR headset, you're able to see the world around you, making it suitable for AR or augmented reality applications. A headset like most Primax headsets will be modular with a number of replaceable parts such as the face mask, the battery and the rear foam pad. The Pimax Crystal headset will come with speakers. It'll be Pimax's deluxe option as well as two controllers. Wi-Fi as we've already mentioned for the standalone option and this headset will also feature the Tobii eye tracking. The integration of the eye tracking will also be used for automatic IPD adjustment, with the lenses being motorized, with a range from 58 to 72 mm. So a fairly comprehensive and impressive lineup of specifications. So how does it line up overall? Well, interestingly, it's got the same number of pixels as the Pimax 8KX. But as those number of pixels are squeezed into a smaller FOV, it's higher resolution, higher clarity. And overall, it's not that far behind their upcoming flagship due at the end of this year, the 12K QLED. A much smaller FOV, but featuring the same optics. And according to Pimax, it's going to be less demanding GPU-wise, depending on course whether you're using it in the standalone mode or whether you're using it in the PCR connected mode. As mentioned previously, it measures towards the top end in terms of pixels per degree. During the presentation, they said it'll run at a maximum of 160 Hz, but no other details were given here. And now on to the price for this pro-consumer VR headset. 1899 US dollars. That will include the headset, the audio, the battery, display port cable, 
two controllers and the 35 PPD lens set. Some of the other pricing points were not that clear. If you want the lighthouse or base station faceplate, that's another 200 US dollars. Although some discounts are offered for existing Pimax owners. I wasn't clear whether you could use the inside outside tracking whilst connected in PC VR mode, which for us flight simmers would be ideal. No costs were given on the upgrade to the 42 pixels per degree lens set option. So we're going to have to await further details. Having said that, however, and assuming that you don't need base stations, it puts it head to head and competitively priced against the Vajo Aero. The addition of another high resolution, enthusiast level VR headset coming into the market is very welcome news indeed. And subject to further details being released at a lower price than the Vajo Aero. However, to some degree, the announcement now of this headset raises more questions than perhaps it answers. The timing of the announcement arguably will raise some questions with existing Pimax owners who are already committed to the 12K QLED headset, to which Primax have very generously offered a trade-in against previous purchases subject to a number of limitations. But that appears not to be the case with the Pimax Crystal. This must be a direct purchase with nominal discounts for existing owners. Maybe I'm wrong, but those interested in this headset are exactly the same target market as those interested in the 12K QLED VR headset. Interesting times ahead. Pimax shipping two new headsets within months of each other. Watch this space. Thank you very much for joining me today. Look after yourselves. Take care. I'll see you again soon and bye for now.